It was an interesting thing what happened about three years ago, 20th Century Fox came to us and they said, listen, hey, you know, the, the 20th anniversary is coming out. Is there anything you guys want to do with it? Because if we do, we're going to have to start booking theaters. And at that time when we all discussed it, it we really thought of it in very minimal terms. The idea was to bring it out maybe 50, 100 theaters, really for hardcore fans. There's a very solid group of people, about a million, million and a half people, who are obsessed with Star Wars. And they had been bugging George for a long time um, because they wanted to relive, not only relive the experience, but they actually wanted to be able to see the film in a theater. We put the trailer out with Independence Day. And we first previewed it in Los Angeles, and everybody just went ape. I mean, it was, there was this kind of seismic uh, reaction to it. But we thought, well, this is L.A., everybody's weird, that's typical. And then we took it to San Francisco, same thing happened. But then we knew everybody was very pro George Lucas, and so we, we never got a real feel of what the real reaction was. So we let it out across the country, and it was the same everywhere. Everybody just went insane. I mean, to get a standing ovation in a trailer is pretty unique, but to have it consistently happen all across the United States, and then ultimately around the world, meant something. And it was saying that this thing is bigger than us, bigger than anything that we had ever hoped or dreamed uh, would ever happen. So it just got bigger. The release got bigger and bigger and bigger. Luckily, we were able to stick with the basic concept, digital theaters. So for the very first time, it's an unprecedented event. The film has only been released in digital theaters, which has been a very exciting thing because it's uh, it's, it's certainly overwhelmed us in terms of the reaction to it. None of us anticipated anything like this. When we opened Star Wars, and it opened up to $36 million the first weekend, we could have moved Empire back. We could have moved it back to the summer. That was never the case. It was always to tell the story of Star Wars by showing the three movies.